And first at six, a family pet nearly loses his life on the first day of deer hunting season. Good evening to you. I'm Ken Oliphant. Shelby Costa is live with a warning to pet owners in a story you'll see only on two. A family in Brookville is angry. They tell us an irresponsible hunter took aim at a member of their own family. Meet 12-year-old Ben, a rot lab mix and a part of the Landis family. On Monday, just like every morning, Laura and Keith let Ben outside. But after a while, Ben didn't come back to the door. I started looking for him at 7.30 and uh, called my friend and I, I knew something was up. The family spent all morning looking for him until Laura's son spotted their pet. I found him. He's over here. And I said, is he dead? And he said, no, but his leg has been shot off. That's when Laura made a startling discovery. I looked up and there was a hunter sitting up in the tree. And so I was furious. And I looked up there and I said, you idiot, you shot our dog. The hunter stayed in the tree and refused to talk to the Landises, but told a wildlife officer his side of the story. And he said that it was dark and he saw a black dog approaching him very quickly and so he feared for his life so he shot him. It's a claim that the Landis family says is ridiculous. Everybody loves this dog. He is not an aggressive dog. He has never hurt anyone. He's, he's, just, he's a great dog. Ben was rushed to the animal hospital and had to have his leg amputated. I'd like the, the hunter to just man up and take responsibility for what he did and just you know if nothing else apologize you know and see the dog and and see what he did and we haven't been able to contact anyone from the wildlife office but an officer told the landises the hunter had permission to hunt on their neighbor's property and he isn't facing any charges or citations deer hunting season in ohio ends december 20th reporting live shelby costo two news on your side